This is some of the finest plowlands in southwestern Ontario. Soybeans, winter wheat, and corn for kilometers on end. It's also the birthplace of the oil industry in North America. More than 160 years ago, the first commercial oil well was discovered here. The township of Enniskillen is home to farmers who have tended these fields for generations. Off the 402 in southern Ontario, this rural community is home to just over 3,000 people, including Kevin Marriott. We just finished harvesting about 800 acres of soybeans that are all exported to Japan, and then we um, planted wheat behind that. All the beans that we harvested are in the storage in these bins out behind, and uh, we still have a little bit of wheat to plant, but uh, we have a couple weeks before that has to be completely planted. Early mornings and long days on the farm are the norm for Marriott. He's been doing this for decades. But for the past 28 years, he's also spent a lot of his time here. I first got elected to Inniskillen Township Council in 1994 and have been mayor since 2012. To add to his resume, he's also the warden of Lambton County. Inniskillen's longest serving councillor in this past summer became the township's longest serving mayor. In 1994, I was encouraged by a, a current um, a counselor that I should consider running. So I ran thinking, I'll only, I would like put into one or two terms, but uh, for some reason I'm still here. First term, elected as, as a counselor. I believe uh, for four positions there was um, eight people running. It's very different from today. This year, over 400 municipalities will be going to the polls to vote for their local politician. In neighboring towns around here and in larger urban centers, competition for these seats is stiff, but not in Enniskillen. Mayor Marriott has gone unchallenged since 2014, but this year, he and his entire council have all been acclaimed. Acclamations are a growing trend in Ontario. In 2018, 477 municipal candidates across Ontario were acclaimed. In 2022, 71 more candidates were acclaimed for a total of 548. What's more surprising is the number of entire councils going to claim it, particularly in smaller rural and northern communities. Since 2014, the numbers have climbed from 19 to 32. I did have a, quite a few phone calls before the uh, period was announced uh, of people that were thinking of running. The final deadline came and, and nobody did. I was surprised at that. There have always been acclamations in municipal elections, and according to political science professor Joe Lyons, the nature of local politics have a few things going against them when compared to other levels of government. Low pay, low recognition. Um, there's not a lot of opportunity to pursue big ambitious projects. If we think about municipal operating budgets, for example, significant majority of those budgets every year will be uh, basically predetermined. So for small municipalities, police and fire are going to eat up a significant chunk of their budgets. Marriott equates the salary he makes as mayor to a well-paid volunteer position, but says the satisfaction comes from seeing the improvements to his community, even if it comes with increasing online criticism. It is getting harder to get people interested in, in stepping up, like I did in 1994. Um, I blame part of that on social media. I watch that a little bit and, and see the heavy criticism that some mayors and councillors go through. It was uh, quite an honour to be considered nobody wanted to, to run against me. 70% of the acclaimed candidates in this election were incumbents, and that means a lot more in smaller communities. The stakes are a little higher running for local office in smaller places than in larger places just because of those personal relationships. People will likely know the incumbent. Uh, often people make the step, for example, from councillor to mayor. So if someone's on council and they generally like the mayor, um, they're probably you know, less likely to run against them. According to Lyons, the increase in acclamations is also a symptom of these elections having very little information about the candidates. Municipal elections are nonpartisan. If we're voting for candidates federally and provincially, even if we don't know much about them, uh, we generally know the ideological orientations of the main political parties. It's much harder to find out that information about local candidates, especially in races where a lot of people are running. 
While Marriott won't be on the campaign trail this year, he says competition helps politicians like himself understand the issues at hand. Well, it forced you to talk to as many people as possible to get feedback, um, what they wanted to see for the future of Inniskillen. The way democracy is supposed to work, there's supposed to be a competition, there's supposed to be an exchange of ideas. If, if they don't have the opportunity to do that, right, then that limits the kind of choice or voice they have in local politics. As the acclaimed voice of Innes Kellen, Mayor Marriott is staying focused on the next four years, tending to both his constituents and his crops. The Agenda with Steve Pakin is made possible through generous philanthropic contributions from viewers like you. Thank you for supporting TVO's journalism.